Hey there, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna be going through actually uh, cr creating your Apple developer account like I talked about, um, but making sure that you are already enrolled or making sure that you already have some kind of Apple account. Like if you already have some iPad or Android devices, um, fantastic. Um, in the last video in part one, I talked all about creating your um, Apple ID. Uh, so if you don't have an Apple ID, make sure you go watch video one. Um, but basically right now we just clicked this button and signed in. Um, apparently I can't go back. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's do a little magic trick. <laughs> okay, it's forcing me onto this page. All right. Um, so basically though, what it looks like is we clicked this start enrollment button. All right. So we clicked this start enrollment button uh, here on this page. And when you click start enrollment, it opens up this form when you are logged in. Um, so now we have create, we have our Apple account, but we need to enroll in the Apple developer program. So um, uh, basically, what you're gonna do is now that you have your Apple ID, um, or if you already have an Apple ID, you can just begin filling all this information out. Um, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and blur out any of this information um, that's on screen. Um, and basically, when you filled in all, basically when you filled in all of that information, you can just go ahead and click continue at the bottom right here, all right? So you can go ahead and click continue at the bottom once you filled out all that information. And then you can select whether you develop as an individual, a sole proprietor, a company, or an organization, whatever it is you want. For this purpose, I'm gonna just select individual and sole proprietor, because it's easier. <laughs> and then give this a read. I've read it through before. Uh, I definitely recommend giving it a read though. Um, and then you can go ahead and click this little checkbox to continue uh, once you've read it. So the last piece is it's going to ask you to complete your purchase. And this is where it's gonna say, hey, um, fantastic, you did amazing. Um, and we are going to basically bill you, it's, it's $99 US a year, or if you're in Canada like I am, it shows it in Canadian dollars, so it's 119 Canadian a year. Um, and so uh, basically, when you click purchase, it will take you over to, um, well, a purchase page. Um, and I'll kind of walk you through it. So we can go ahead and sign in. And once we've signed in, it'll ask if we want to pay with credit card or debit card. And then you can just go ahead and fill in all this, uh, all the billing info right here. Um, and then once you're done that, you can click review order and you can pay nice, easily and efficiently. So um, that's really it to setting up your Apple developer account. Like it's super, super streamlined. Um, sometimes Apple will ask you to verify your identity, um, which I will show you over here. Um, so I'm just gonna go read through this just one more time. Um, in order to uh, submit your Apple uh, app to the Apple app stores, you have to have an Apple developer account. And um, basically, once again, you create your Apple ID, you create your Apple account, your Apple ID, and then that is linked to like your Apple developer account. So um, that's what we created in video one is your Apple ID, which can be used across all your different devices. Um, and then your Apple uh, developer account is what they charge $99 a year for. Um, uh, that it's 99 US. And so we follow this link to create our Apple developer account. Um, and after enrolling, uh, one just like Google, Apple will probably take a couple of days to process your account. Um, and when that's done, they'll send you an email with a link that you can click to finish up set it, finish setting up your account. Um, and just as a little note, if you don't have any Apple devices, you may, Apple may email you and say, hey, we need to verify your identity and your account, um, and you may need to contact Apple developer support if there's any issues there. And the link is right there. It's simply developer.apple.com slash contact. Um, now, this is really, really important, is um, just to make this whole process much easier as we go into the next couple of steps, 
please do not add or create anything for your app within Apple Store Connect or, um, or even in the Android kind of area just quite yet uh, because 22 apps will generate a lot of stuff for you. Um, and we will do that final set up, set up in step three of publishing. So in other words, follow the exact directions that are listed in these articles and that I go through in these videos. Um, and, uh, otherwise, you may run into issues with publishing your app um, and we'll have to jump through hoops to <laughs> fix it for you. So, so uh, basically, like, do your best to follow these guides as they are laid out. Do everything in the right order. Follow the video instructions in the right order. Um, and, uh, and you'll have a fantastic experience and time. So with that said, in the next video, I'm going to be going through actually how to create the files for your app build. And with that, I look forward to seeing you there. And I look forward to seeing your 22 app success and your app published very soon.